Hi, my name is Dr. Miriam Kramer, and I am incredibly excited to introduce you to the new WESAP thermal ablation device. Uh, the device, the WESAP device, has been modified for the first time in 30 years, and it is an incredibly practical solution for treatment of cervical precancer all over the world. This is all of the equipment that you need if you have electricity uh, to do treatment for cervical precancer. You also have the alternative to use an external battery pack as a power source, and I'll show you how to connect both and give you recommendations for use. So if you have a site with electricity, all you have to do is plug in the device. There's two places to plug it in. Here and here onto your device. You'll hear a little click. This is the probe. It gets put on. There's a little arrow on the front and it just clicks right in. This is the slider which protects the vaginal wall. It also clicks into place, just like so. <clears throat> and then you're almost ready to do the procedure. One of the most exciting things about this device is that you don't need electricity to use it. This is an external battery pack. It weighs about two pounds, and it can be connected to the device very easily. This cable gets connected to the external battery source. It can be used 100 times without having to recharge it. Then it's connected to the probe, and your probe gets connected, and you can see it works with no electricity. The next thing you do is press the button, and you'll see a little blinking light. And the light will blink until the probe is hot enough to be used. Then you get your patient ready for the procedure, and you wait for the light to stop blinking. When it's ready, you place the probe onto the cervix, and then you slide the slider back so that the probe connects with the cervix. Next, you turn on the timer uh, to start, and the application should be for 40 seconds. So our recommendation is to treat the patient at 100 degrees for 40 seconds. When you're ready to stop treating your patient, you can turn it off, and next, the device gets disconnected from electricity. This part has not come into contact with the body fluid, so this part can be wiped off with alcohol. And these parts should be disinfected using high-level disinfection as recommended by the WHO. Uh, this can be a glutaraldehyde solution or a bleach solution. They should not be autoclaved, so they shouldn't be soaped off with soapy water and then placed into high level disinfection. And that's it. I hope that you guys will all enjoy this incredibly innovative new treatment for cervical precancer.